Scientists have their work cut out for them with this one. Let's check out some discoveries made in and around the pyramids in Egypt. Number 10, new paths. This corridor, it's protecting or reducing the pressure on something beneath it. Mustafa Waziri of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities said, might be a chamber, might be something else. Very soon we can figure out what is the main issue of this corridor. The Great Pyramid of Giza, one of the most visited tourist destinations in the world, was built as a tomb for the Pharaoh Khufu who passed away in 2566 BC. Researchers discovered a cavity behind the chevrons in 2016, leading scientists to hypothesize that the corridor was constructed to relieve pressure inside the massive pyramid. Before the Eiffel Tower in Paris was erected in 1889, it was the tallest building in the world, taking an estimated 10 to 20 years to construct. Number 9. Building Techniques The puzzle of how Egypt's ancient pyramids were constructed may have been answered by a significant find on a former branch of the River Nile. It's possible that the materials needed to build the pyramids were transported along the now dry canal that previously passed through Giza. The abundance of water in that vicinity of Cairo may have made it possible for the numerous construction blocks required for the enormous structures to be supported, which would explain why the pyramids are grouped together in that particular area. Dr. Imam Gonaim made the finding after studying the Nile Valley with radar satellite data from space, which revealed an invisible world of information behind the surface. Earlier this year, Gonaim presented her findings to the 13th Congress of Egyptologists. Number 8. Intact Boat Other wonders can be seen within the Giza Pyramid Complex, which is situated outside of contemporary Cairo. One such wonder is the Sphinx, a colossal figure of a lion bearing the head of the King Khafre. In 1954, investigators uncovered a fairly intact ship, measuring about 140 feet long, lying in parts at the base of the Great Pyramid. It bears the inscription of the pharaoh Khufu and was presumably interred with other funerary artifacts. It was subsequently unearthed and placed on a exhibit at the specially built Solar Boat Museum located only a short distance from its discovery. Number 7. Rosetta Stone A black granite slab with inscriptions on one side was discovered by Napoleon Bonaparte's army officers in 1798, close to the Egyptian town of Rashid. The Rosetta Stone, which dates to 196 BC, is thought to have been crafted in Memphis on Ptolemy V's behalf, confirming his authority to govern over Egypt. Written in three languages, Greek, Demotic, and High hieroglyphic, its translation in 1822 offered the first explanation for deciphering Egyptian hieroglyphs and gave fresh insight into the whole saga of ancient Egypt. Since the end of the Napoleonic Wars, it has been in British hands, despite Egypt's long-standing request for its return. Number 6. Mummy Queen Much of the remains of Queen Hatshepsut's reign were destroyed at the behest of her stepson and heir, Thutmose III, following her demise in 1458 BC. Until the late 19th century when archaeologists deciphered the hieroglyphics on her temple at Deir el Bahri in Luxor, nothing was known about Egypt's first great female leader. Like the majority of the tombs in the Valley of the Kings, Hatshepsut's sarcophagus was empty when Howard Carter discovered it in 1903. However, one of the two coffins from another tomb discovered in the temple were recognized as belonging to Hatshepsut's wet nurse. Scientists recognized Hatshepsut's bones from the other casket in 2007 after identifying a mole in a jar containing the queen's preserved organs with a gap in the mummy's jaw. Number 5. Powerful Pharaoh the 19th dynasty pharaoh Ramses II, who was born in or around 1302 BC, ruled for more than 60 years and ordered the construction of numerous enormous monuments, including the temples at Abu Simbel, to secure his place in history as the most powerful pharaoh of ancient Egypt. His tomb was relocated from its original location in the Valley of the Kings to a more secure location to prevent theft. In 1881, researchers found his mummy and several others in a covert stockpile near Deir el Bahri. Originally housed in Cairo's Egyptian Museum, the mummy gained notoriety in the 1970s when it started to rapidly deteriorate and needed to be flown to Paris for testing and treatment due to a fungus infection. Number 4. Sunlight Temple Cradled into a mountainside close to the present-day Egyptian-Sudanese border, these two stone temples date back to around 1244 BC and are undoubtedly the most significant construction project conducted during the reign of Ramses II. Four enormous 
statues of the pharaohs stood at the entrance to the bigger temple, and inside was a system of chambers designed so that sunlight could shine on another statue of Ramses twice a year. The temple was long abandoned and covered in sand until Giovanni Pelzoni, an Italian archaeologist and former strongman in a circus, discovered its entrance in 1817. To create room for the building of the Aswan High Dam, the entire temple complex was disassembled and reconstructed on higher land in the 1960s. Number 3. The Oldest Tomb Egypt's oldest tomb, which faces the winter solstice dawn, was discovered according to a team from the universities of Malaga and Jain in Spain. In 1830 BCE, on the last day of the 12th dynasty in Egypt, a statue representing the governor of Elephantine was supposed to be covered by the sun's rays on the shortest day of the year. A paper published in Mediterranean Archaeology and Archaeometry details how an Egyptian architect used a two-cubit pole about three feet long, a square, and some robes to calculate the orientation of the entire chapel and the location of the governor's statue in order to achieve a perfect orientation with the sun. Number 2. Miracle Tunnel A tunnel 43 feet below the surface was discovered by Kathleen Martinez of the University of Santo Domingo in the Dominican Republic and her team during ongoing excavation and exploration of a temple beneath the ancient city of Taposiris Magna on the Egyptian shore. The tunnel, standing around 6 feet tall, had been constructed through 4,281 feet of sandstone. The design was dubbed a geometric miracle by the team. The Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities believes the design is comparable to Greece's tunnel of Eupolinos, a 6th century BCE aqueduct on the island of Samos. The Taposiris Magna Tunnel is partially buried in water, and its current role is unclear. Martinez thinks the tunnel would provide a promising lead in her 18-year search for the fabled tomb of Cleopatra. The seventh. Some hints from earlier discoveries in the region indicate the famous queen, the last member of the Ptolemy dynasty who governed Egypt from 51 BCE until her passing in 30 BCE. The group thinks that Osiris and his queen, the goddess Isis, were the subjects of the temple at Taposiris Magna. Isis is the goddess who is most closely associated with Cleopatra. In addition to Isis statues, coins with the names and likenesses of both Cleopatra and Alexander the Great have been discovered nearby. And at number one unknown queen. A group of archaeologists discovered a number of coffins, mummies, and artifacts as well as an underground network of tunnels that connected one another to the pyramid of an unknown ancient Egyptian queen, a century after King Tut's tomb was discovered. The team found that her name was Neith, and Egyptologist Zahi Hawass, Egypt's former state minister for antiquities, claims that she has not yet been documented in history. As a result, further research into her reign and narrative will be necessary. Saqqara is a location Location about 20 miles south of Cairo that archaeologists have been excavating. The coffins and corpses found in the recently unearthed hoard may belong to some of King Tutankhamun's most trusted advisors and generals. The young pharaoh ruled from approximately 1333 BCE until his passing in 1323 BCE. His undisturbed pyramid was discovered in 1922 and made international news. That's our list. Thanks so much for watching. Give us a follow if you'd like to keep exploring the world with us. I've been your host Yusuf and I hope you have a fantastic day.